Here we are at the cathedral layout. Now we're at the end really. We're, we're adding details and doing the final wiring. So this is when you have to look at things slightly different. You take it for granted that it works, but does it look right? right. So we're going to show you in this video how you balance things up to make things work and look natural. Welcome to Chester Cathedral layout. We're, at, we're adding the mass now at 500 mil to make sure that it is 500 mil because it's, it's crucial we've made a jig and the jig fits around the base of the stanchion and goes in like this and it gives us exactly 500 mil to the next pylon. Now you'll notice that we are in a break section here in other words two boards meet so uh, we make sure that the the wire goes across so that when we transport it we can just take that out tape it to the board and then when we get to cathedral we've only got to add the four wires on the sections where it all joins okay so we use um, hot glue to secure it now we come to a problem here because this this little jobby is in the way so we just have to take this mast out for the, for the moment and of course it's in an awkward position underneath with all the wiring but we'll take it out and then Tony can go underneath and put it back again he loves that job Jig secure then with the glue going to do the bar leg first and make sure that it's square Give it a second for the glue to go off. Right, then we can do this one. So the we do that now so we've got all of these in line and we only use 500 mil and 380 mil to get us into the tunnels so we've got one more 500 mil and you see how why we jig everything up because it saves a whole lot of work unfortunately we've got another problem with this stanchion So the glue just goes stringy so you have to just rub it out but you'll tidy it up at some point anyway. Right. So now we've got to take out the uh, telephone system which is easily done. We do it like that. And we come to the final mast. I think we've got a cock up here, but that's to my go. So now what we've got to do, because we're up to the tunnel, is we use a different gauge. We're using the 380 now, and then we put a 500 that goes into the tunnel and ten it gives us the tension. Okay. 
this little white patch is where the, the four aspect signal goes uh, for permission to go in the tunnel um, so now we've got to go and do the other end but what 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 I really wanted to point out about this at this stage of the modeling is where you've got to start making decisions because it's not about what's there now, it's about how your model looks rather than the real thing. So because this is a, a long section, yes we've got two types of catenary which is interesting, we've got two different types of tunnel, but when we looked at it, overall, this section just looks too not quite right. It just doesn't, it do, it's not balanced. And the whole thing about model railway it is balance. So we built this here, which is the telephone mass. So we put that there. That gives us a little scene within a scene. So you've got your catenary plus you've got the telephone mass. Let's just remove these for a minute. Right. But you've still got quite a big area. Um, where there's there's nothing happening it, it looks too flat now what Tony and I did last week we added more foliage to the middle of the layout again to give you the impression of, of weight um, you know, and, and distance. Let's, let's just move that for a second Set them off the track, is it? so what we decided uh, was to make a feature. Um, a catenary uh, is difficult at the best of times to model. It really is. It's not. It's, it's a lot of work. But we thought one of the things that uh, we've never seen modelled was the power stations, the feeders. So what we're building here is the booster section that you see alongside the track that feeds in the power actually at the, at the overhead like this. Now this is a massive massive structure. Uh, now on the on the real thing the power would be here. All the power cubicles, the power station is here. It comes up to these six um, mass and it's carried across and along and then that goes into the overhead system um, it's a lot of work we've got still quite a lot to do on this but you'll see what that does it balances this scene and it certainly will when all the installations and the wire are on it makes it gives you another height so the telephone master has given us a, a height on this end the subsection will do us a great deal of that. And then you need to stand back again and just look and see whether it's still balanced. But we're near the end and as you can hear in the background the guys are literally wiring all the points up and hopefully within the next three or four days we can actually test this whole section to see whether it works. Book crossing fingers. Thanks. Nice.